Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically you can create a sample google docs file this is basically a template of the form here this is a table here you can see that it contains three columns sorry three rows and two columns name age country and basically this is basically this is a template and based upon this template we will be inserting data from the Google Sheet here. So we have inserted these four records out there, which is name, age, country, and KN25 New Zealand. You can see that four columns, are, four rows are there. So we will be using this Google App Script and we will be able to simply insert these this data here, which is name, age, and country inside this Google Docs template. And we will be generating these files and downloading them inside our Google Drive folder. So we have created a brand new folder and here we will be creating automatically all these files and we will insert the data inside this template you can even change a background color as well of this table let's suppose if I want to change here this background color I can first of all change the text color to white you can simply select this change this text color to white and then if you want to change the border sorry background color to black you can do that as well like this let me select this so there is also an option basically you can style this table inside Google Docs as you all know. So this is basically the background color sorry let me select it you will see it will change to black. Like this you can style this now guys so you can make this little bit more stylish. So text color I can change to white and then I can change the background color to black. You can see name is country. And basically these are the template variables here inside uh, double curly brackets which is name, age, country. So these are basically dynamic variables. We will be inserting the data here which is KN25 New Zealand, Saudi 31 New Zealand. So every time it will loop through and it will generate dynamic dynamically these uh, Google Doc documents and it will save it inside your Google Drive folder. Let me show you a very simple demo here. So this is basically we will create a simple menu item guides here you can see that this create, contains this one create new document so as I hit this you will see it will run the script in the background and basically after it completes it will create four Google Docs documents based upon these records that we have there and it will insert this inside this column document link so you can see our uh, newly generated documents are created and if I now see inside Google Docs folder Google Drive folder we have these four files which are automatically downloaded inside of a Google Drive <laughs> if I individually open these files here you will see that this is name is equal to Saudi age 31 country New Zealand you will see that if I open the second file you will see that dynamically generated bold 29 New Zealand you can see that so we are using this template and we are generating these dynamic data which is inserting through the Google Sheets and downloading it inside Google Drive you can see that all these four files are created dynamically so this is really helpful guys if you're running a long website if you are receiving a lot of user input and if you let's suppose you want to create invoice data something like for a company or if you want to uh, build out a bill for your employees you can do, you do this process Google Docs provide this uh, automatic workflow and we will be doing it inside Google Apps Script basically this is a scripting language which is provided by Google to make web applications using the Google APIs. So for this tutorial guys, I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website which is Web Ninja Developer. I have given the link in the description of this video. So if you want the full source code, you can read this blog post alongside with watching this video. So let's get started by building this application. So the very first thing I will do guys, I will first of all go to Google Sheet and uh, first of all just write here Google Sheet and uh, just go to this editor and go to sheets and here you need to create a blank sheet guys so we will simply rename this to customer table you can just rename to anything and then basically we will have name age country so these three columns will be there and the third fourth one will be document link and here we will be populating all the dynamically generated URLs of the Google Docs. So here you can just fill out the empty test data guys. So we will simply put here uh, John 
United States then we have gain let me take some more data here let me take the fourth one so you can see that guys we have inserted these four rows out there rows of data and after this what we need to do is that go to extensions and go to app script so now this will redirect the user to the app script here you can write your google app script code so after this guys we also need to create our google docs document as well which is basically act like a template so just go to google docs here and basically go to this uh, website and create a brand new google doc element template document and here you need to insert a table so simply in, in just insert a newly created table here you can select here two, two comma i think we have four records so yeah this table you can do and basically you can say name and uh, yes i think we have uh, three columns so yeah name age country like this so so we have three columns so we can delete this one so we can simply say delete row like this so inside double curly brackets guys you can just dynamically put this placeholder variables which is this one for the age and this one for the country so now we have constructed this template for the google docs guys you can even style this as i already shown you you can just change its uh, highlight highlighting color as well like this all sort of styling you can perform it but we will just stick to basic so this is our template document now we just need to go to google app script guys and now we just need to add a simple menu item here so whenever you click that menu item it will be added here in the menu so for doing this we need to construct a really simple function which allows you to do that process so we will make this function on open and inside this guys we will first of all get reference to our google sheet this is spreadsheet app dot get ui this is a method so this will get the reference of the google spreadsheet and now we need to add a menu for adding the menu guys we simply need to say ui create menu and this will be let's suppose uh, autofill google docs like this and now we need to add a item inside this menu which is create new document and here we just need to simply say a function which will execute so inside the single quotes we will define the function which will execute whenever you click this menu item so this will be create new google docs and now we just need to add this menu to the ui interface so what will happen if you save this code here and if you try to run this click on this run method you will see inside your google sheet a menu will be added here whenever you run this script automatically so it is running it inside the background you can see executing it execution started and now you can see it has added this menu item create new document so you can see script not found so we need to define the script right here so at the bottom side we will now create this method which is uh, create new google docs and basically guys inside this method we just need to define a template here of uh, google doc so we will simply say here uh, google doc template and first of all guys for that we just need to get access to the folder id sorry google docs file id so there is a method out there which is get file by id get file by id this is a method and basically guys you just need to provide the id of the google docs element so this is the id here 
so simply you just need to provide this ID here simply copy this and here you will paste it like this and this will get the actual file Google Doc template and after this guys we also need to get to the destination folder inside Google Drive so once again this will use the same drive app and this time we will get access to the folder so get folder by ID so you just need to create a brand new folder inside your Google Drive let me just remove all these and this is containing the ID of the folder so this is a URL simply copy this so simply paste it here so after you do this guys we just need to construct a simple sheet out there we will say that const sheet and we will use the spreadsheet app and it contains a method which get active spreadsheet this is a method and again we will call another method get sheet by name so this will get the sheet by its name so every sheet has a name you can see sheet 1 so we will provide this name here sheet 1 so after this guys we just need to now create the dynamic row inside this so we will say const rows so we will get all the rows that is there inside the sheet so sheet dot get data range we need to get the values from this all the values like this so now this will be a simple array which will contain all the values for us so for that we will be using a for each loop and inside this function guys we will have row index and here we will be simply be if index is, is ripple equal to 0 so for the very first row guys basically inside this sorry this is not an arrow function normal function so what it typically means that we are comparing it for the very first row here so this contains the columns so for this we just don't need to do anything so we are simply returning from this and then when it when we reaches uh, row 5 I think yes as you can see we have four records out there 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 so I think we have only five rows so I just need to make it not five just four so if row 4 is returned sorry if it uh, goes to 0 1 2 3 4 yeah if we reaches to the this fifth row we just need to return so that's why we put here 5 here we just need to return if we reaches the last row which doesn't contain any data so inside this loop guys we will first of all google doc template and we will make a copy here of the template this contains a method for google documents and here we will be providing a dynamic data guys which is this one row one sorry this needs to be row one you need to put a comma and then you just need to say row zero employee details so basically we will be constructing the dynamic title for the google document employee details sorry this needs to be come here employee details and now we just need to say here guys put a comma and here you just need to provide your destination folder so where you will be populating this so we have provided a you can see destination folder we are storing it inside this variable so we will simply pass here destination folder so after you do this guys we just need to basically inside this we just need to get the id of the document so we will simply say document app and this contains a method we will open it by the id this contains this method open by id and here we will be passing the id copy dot get id this is a method that's it after this we will get to the body of this we will simply say doc dot get body 
and here we will be replacing the text so we will be inserting the dynamic details here by using this re replace text here method and inside your we will be passing we will be replacing this name to be the actual value which is coming which is row 0 similarly we will be replacing the age as well to the actual value which is row 1 and similarly we will be replacing the country as well so you can just have as many columns as you want you can see that row 0 row 1 row 2 and after you replaced all this stuff guys we just need to save and close the document and then we just need to get the URL of the document which we have constructed so we can simply say doc dot get URL so after this guys we just need to simply insert this inside the sheet sheet dot get range index plus one and comma four this is the value set value will set the value this will be URL that's it this is all the code guys which is required for this application so this is all the function here so now if I try to run this application so what you will see you just need to first of all save your code and click on the run option so whenever you run it for the very first time we just need to grant permission so simply grant the required permission Se simply select your account here simply click allow here so now it is executing it you will see that execution completed so now if I hit this menu item guys so what you will see it is running the script and after running it successfully it basically will insert these details all these details that we mentioned here and it will give me this unique URL it will take some time you can see that now it has created all these files john employee details gain you can see that if i refresh it all these four details will be constructed if i open this document you will see that young 29 senegal so whatever data we have provided inside google sheet it is successfully replaced inside your google docs and it is saved inside our google drive so in this way guys you can easily very easily create unlimited Google documents using Google Apps script based upon the data which we specify in Google sheet so this is the application you can get all the source code in the description of this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next one